So I want to do a thing right before we uh, just show this. Yeah. So special thanks to the folks from Risk, um, because this is our first Risk board, which we're going to show in a second. Put this under the overhead. They sent us Risk socks. So check this out. These what are Risk. Where does it say? Risk These are Risk five socks. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, no, yeah, here. Well, I'll do it right here. Look Wait, at this. Hold this. These are Risk five socks. It says oh, Risk five on it. They do. They sent me, and Arco. we have a section on our website for nice freaking technical socks. Yes, this is. A, these are some nice freaking tough technical yeah. socks. Yeah. And uh, thank you, Risk, for sending us out Risk socks with our first board. From Risk. From Risk. Okay. All right. So, Lady Ada, what is the star <laughs> of the show this week and the only product we're showing this week? Okay, it's one, but it's a good one. Uh, we have a new Cutie Pie, uh, and this time it's featuring the ESP32 C3. And this is the first uh, Risk Five chip that we again we've developed with, uh, so it's pretty exciting. It's from Espressif. It's an ultra low cost. Wi-Fi Bluetooth chip with a built-in USB to serial converter. Um, note, it doesn't do native USB. It's only USB to serial plus like a JTAG debug mode. Um, and it's that chip in the middle there. And it's kind of designed as a replacement for the ESP8266. It's, you know, got, I think, 400K of RAM and it's got four megabytes of flash. Um, I don't remember the speed of the RISC processor, but of course it's, you know, a 32-bit processor. Um, and we put it in the Cutie Pie, and it's actually kind of a perfect format because the um, the ESP32 C3 actually doesn't have a lot of pins. So this actually kind of uses like every pin um, that is available on um, the the chip. You've got a QD, a STEM IQT connector for all those I2C devices. You've got USB-C. You've got the boot button uh, to go to bootloader mode, the reset button, the crystal on the back, some passives, a battery input, um, and that's it. It's it's very simple. And I've got a, just a little demo here I wanted to show. This is actually um, uploading data to Adafruit IO. Let me just lock the focus lock. Okay, so this is the board. And so what I really like about this is that, you know, you can do no solder um, wireless projects. Uh, you know, this is the QD Pi and the, this, the QT and the QD Pi is the STEMI QT connector. So here I've got the OLED connected to the, um, the BME and then I've got it sending data up to Adafruit IO. Um, I will say that the ESP32 C3, it's, it's stable in Espressive, but it's still a little early. Um, it is a totally new um, chipset. And so, um, you know, while a lot of stuff worked, you know, we have to be, for example, uh, for Wi-Fi to work with, hold on, with um, the, the native USB to serial converter, I had to be on, um, the master branch, you can't, you know, the latest commit, you can't use the release, the release has a bug in it. Um, so it's a little bit like, this is kind of people who want to experiment. I wouldn't necessarily get this as your first microcontroller or even first wireless board, because I think you'll, you'll go a little nutty if you're like, there's a bug and you don't realize it. Um, that said, you know, it's got BLE, uh, BLE5, it's got Wi-Fi, it's got enough RAM to do TLS quite nicely. Um, it's got all these pads. It's got a NeoPixel, um, you know, uh, four, it's actually got five analog inputs, 12 bits a piece. It's got uh, I squared C, a hardware UART that's also used for debug, um, and SPI as well as some power pins. So a very cute little board. I think, um, you know, again, the C3 is, is at least as of this viewing, it's an early board, but I think, um, you know, if you want to experiment with Risk Five or you want to try out this new chipset, it's, uh, it's cool. Check it out. All right. And that is new products this week. Thank you.